Bitcoin QR code scams found on Google search pages. Next on your 4-Minute Crypto Show. Today's show is from a post by Martin Young at News BTC and brought to you by Crypto Crybaby. Take a look at the large selection of Bitcoin t-shirts, Bitcoin caps, and the rest of the Bitcoin gear at CryptoCrybaby.com. Now, researchers have discovered the majority of links returned in Google search pages for Bitcoin QR code generators, whether for fake or scammy websites. Now, in its usual Bitcoin bashing stance, Forbes reported that it's just another crypto scam that's hindered adoption. Well, what it should have reported was that it's a Google scam for allowing these fraudulent links on its search engine in the first place. Now, the study reported that four out of the first five results presented when querying Google were leading to scammers' websites. Now, according to the researchers from crypto wallet provider Zengo, the QR codes generated from one of these fake websites will send the Bitcoin to the scammer's address instead of the one you want it to go to. The QR codes are used to capture the data by mobile phone cameras, in this case, to quickly share a Bitcoin address. The researchers added, these sites generate a QR code that encodes the address controlled by the scammers instead of the one requested by the user, thus directing all payments for this QR code to the scammer's wallet. Now, scammers do not even bother with generating their fake QR codes themselves. Instead, they shamelessly call a blockchain explorer API to generate the QR code for their address. It's been estimated that around $20,000 has been lost to QR code scams. However, that figure could be much higher than that. Just like the copy-paste malware that infected computers a couple of years ago in order to alter Bitcoin addresses, this scam is just a much quicker version. Now, there'll be others in the misreporting that is furthering negative public perception around Bitcoin and cryptocurrency is pure FUD. The internet itself is awash with scams, yet look how adoption of that has gone. The bottom line is, common sense here, Google search results cannot be trusted and neither can anything posted on Facebook. Both U.S. tech giants have been the largest disseminators of scams and fake sites, most of which have given the crypto biz Bitcoin industry its bad name. Of course, there are bad actors out there, but we don't need huge web monopolies broadcasting them while profiting off our personal data and searching habits. Stay safe out there. And as always, let me know your thoughts in the comments. And remember to subscribe at 4MinuteCrypto.com slash subscribe for a new episode of this show every weekday. I'm Gary Leland, the Crypto Podcaster, and thanks for joining me on another episode of the 4-Minute Crypto Show. This has been a CryptoPodcaster.com production.